so so far query probably not seeming too terribly scary obviously there are a couple of quirks to it um, formatting things that are a little different from the way sheets typically works with formulas and so does Excel thus far probably making a ton of sense but I want to throw a little bit of a wrench in the gears and get you thinking a little bit more about what we're actually saying here and what we're trying to achieve and then also show you why a query is so powerful so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna muck up the works okay we're gonna take our grade averages sheet here and we're gonna duplicate it so we now should have a copy of grade averages and I'm gonna rename this to grade averages second period because if I'm a teacher there's a good chance I might actually have um, you know multiple students at various points in time that come through my classes and I might be wanting to make an A honor roll list or sheet that shows all the students across all of my periods or all my classes um, who achieved A honor roll so here I am in second period I don't care so much about test averages I was using that as an example I'm gonna go ahead and delete that I'll delete the students here but let's say that for whatever reason, be, before I even add any more students, that I just was unaware and I actually had put, um, well here, I'll, I'll mix it up here. Let's, uh, I'm gonna keep the students and in the same column, but I'm gonna take my grade and my test average and I'm gonna actually swap these two columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a column to the left here. I'm gonna paste in my test average column right here. So let's say for whatever reason I was just inconsistent in the way I built everything out. So let's say that I have um, Sharon in this class, uh, Tim, Brett, um, and we'll just add a couple of more students. Tina, um, Jeff, and then finally Michael. And let's say that Sharon got a C, Tim got a B, Brett got an A, Tina got an A, Jeff got an F, and then let's say that Michael got a B. Okay, so I've got my grade averages here for first period, and my grade averages here for second period. And now what I wanna do is I wanna take my query and I wanna modify it so that it's looking in both of these sheets and pulling in a full list of students who are um, in my two classes that got A's for their grades. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna modify this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna modify our data so that we can accept multiple sources. So multiple sheets of data. So to do that, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put our data in curly braces. And then after this initial sheet, grade averages A to C, I'm gonna put a semicolon and then I'm gonna do a call to my second sheet, grade averages, and I'm gonna write it just as I see it here, second period, and then close those single quotes, exclamation point, and then I need to come back over here and look, but my columns are A to C still, so that's fine, but now when I um, get ready to hit enter here, even though I'm calling the two sheets appropriately, you'll notice my formula is currently underlined in red, and when I hover over this and get the tooltip, it says unable to parse query string for function query param parameter two, no column A. What is it talking about? Well, the issue here is that we're pulling from two sources and the query does not actually know if the column that we're looking at in the second source is really legitimately column A or not. It just has this series of references and this could be anything to it and it doesn't actually know is that column a or not it just knows there's a first column a second column and a third column so what are we to do um well let's think about this okay so i've got my grade averages grade averages second period a to c okay so I'm gonna come over here and instead of saying select A and B, I'm gonna type COL1 comma COL2 comma 
and then COL3, just to show you what this is gonna look like. And then here, where I'm saying where B equals an A, we're gonna change this to COL, and we'll do two. Now when I do this, you'll notice that nothing changed. Why did nothing change? Well, it tells me a couple of things here. First and foremost, remember I told you that my grades here were in column C, and my students' names here are in column A, my test averages are in B, whereas my grade averages over here um, for the first period have students, grades, and test averages. So the first issue that I'm experiencing here is, well, I've got a misalignment of columns. That's a problem. We're going to address that issue in a later lecture. Okay, I wanted to bring it up to you so you could see that even though I combine these into a single query and the query is working properly, you might look at it and say, well, it didn't populate any of the students from the second period, so your query is not working properly. It's working exactly as I told it to. It's populating the three columns I asked for, A, B, and C in this one, which is um, our student, our grade, and then our test average, where column two equals the value of a capital A. Well, in my grade averages, column two does equal an A. But in this one, I don't have any values there. So I wanted to show you first and foremost that when you are building a query and you're bringing in multiple sources of data, it is really important to see if that data is matching up and aligning. But there are going to be other things we talk about where we can kind of handle things like this. But you do want to make sure your data has been sanitized and kind of fits. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. I'm going to paste you here, and I'm going to do test average here. And so now this data should be in the proper column. So I've got grade averages here, grade averages here. Even though I don't have test averages, everything looks hunky-dory. And now when I come over here to my honor roll, I'm getting a new error. So let's look at why I'm getting this new error. Okay, an array literal was missing values in one or more rows, okay? So first off, let's go back here. We're gonna change this to A to C, okay? And that fixed the error. So this had gotten modified from grade averages um, A to um, C to A to B, okay? So, what I'm doing here, I'm looking at my grade averages, looking at my grade averages second period, and then I'm selecting columns one, two, and three, where column two in each of these sheets equals the value of an A. Now, I don't need column three because that's my test average, so I can actually delete that from my query here. And now I'm only getting A's, okay? So, I'm checking those two sources of data, selecting column one and column two from each source where column two equals an A. So I wanna show you one final thing here as to why it's so critical that we change these to column one and column two. This kinda of goes in hand in hand with the other thing I was demonstrating, but more so. Here we go. So I'm gonna take all of my data here in my second period class in columns A, B, and C, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna paste it over one cell. So now I'm in B, C, and D. This is gonna break my query to a degree. So let's come over here to honor roll. And you'll notice that now I'm only pulling in the students from my grade averages sheet. Why is that? Well, I'm looking at A, and A through C here in my second period. If I come over here, A is completely blank B is my student column, and C is my grade column. So this is column one, column two, and column three with regards to my query. So it's looking in column two in the second period class, which is currently my student column, and it's saying, wait a second, I don't see anybody uh, from column A that has um, an A, like the letter A, in this column. So if I come over here and I change this from A to C to B to D and hit enter, now all of a sudden my query is working. Why is that? Well, it's not just that I corrected where I was referencing students, grades, and test averages, 
But again, if we come back here, it's what's designated as column one and column two. In this array here from B to D, column B is column one, that has the students. Column C is column two, which has the letter grades. And column D is the test averages. So the reason why it's important that we use column one, column two, column three, when we're using multiple sources of data for a query, is we don't actually know, or if we were to type like A here for column one to return the students, well, that's true here for this first part of the query. Yeah, A is gonna be where my students are contained, but for the second part of the query, second period, my student names are actually contained in column B. So rather than using A or B, which could differ between sheets, we simply say the first column of the data source, the second column of the data source that we're referencing. And in that way, we can standardize where we're looking to pull that information. So now when I hit enter, my query is working exactly as I want it to. I'm pulling in every student across my two periods that got an A. Alan, Amy, Cindy, Tony, Brett, Tina, and then there's all of my A's. Now, this looks great right now, has the students I need, but you'll notice as well, there's no real order to these student names. It's just, here are the first four we found in this first sheet, and here are the other two that we found in the second sheet, but they're not in alphabetical order or anything like that. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about what we can do about that in the next part of this tutorial. So I'll see you in the next lecture.